Man ruins his life over chicken wings. Fast food freakouts where entitled stupid customers have an absolute meltdown and go on a rampage over trivial problems with their order. And they range from like goofy and silly to downright sad and tragic. Like the time a guy shot two subway workers killing one of them because they put too much mayonnaise on his sandwich. This evil, smooth brain idiot actually took someone's life because they went a little heavy on a condiment. Jesus Christ. Mayonnaise may not be an instrument, but it was a death sentence for this worker, unfortunately. It's beyond tragic, and what's even sadder is just how common these kind of responses are in the fast food industry. That is far from the only case of someone losing- Well, they killed him because of too much mayo? And I know I've talked about that story in particular before and many others like it, and today I want to talk about another situation that happened a couple days ago, and this one has a whole video for it. And this video is shocking. Like, this is more shocking than the Into a Darman film. It had my eyes wider than the first time I gazed upon a bare breast. It has so much going on over something so little. So I'll quickly give you the lore here, the motivation behind what you're about to see, so you can watch this video in a pure state of bewilderment over the reaction to something so insignificant. A customer goes into a restaurant late a couple nights ago and he orders chicken and waffles as well as fish and coleslaw. He is oh, was it at a Waffle House? Chicken and waffles? Dude, have you ever seen every Waffle House has a fist fight like every other day? Served ...and even appreciates the food. He eats it and then leaves. He comes back 45 minutes later and says he actually wanted chicken wings instead of chicken tenders and demands that they whip him up a fresh batch of chicken wings in order to satiate his gluttony. Well, the store's five minutes to closing and they say it's not really, you know... on. Wait, he ate the food, said that was good, bye-bye, and then comes back almost an hour later and wants more free wings. On the table here, that's not really in the cards, we're about to close, so we can't do that. The person in charge of the restaurant even offers a refund, which is beyond generous. This guy's a fucking saint. To even <laughs> yeah, why would they pay him? They're gonna give him his money back after he ate all the food and said it was good. The offering a refund, even though he ate what he ordered and then came back to make a big hullabaloo over nothing. So he offers the refund uh, and then just asks for the card that was used to pay for it so that way he could, you know, give the money back. However, he noticed that there was a bag with chicken wings in it, but it was another customer's order whom was going to be served those chicken wings. And this fucking sets him off and leads to everything you're about to see in this video. It, it, I know the story I just told you is riveting. It's like a fucking Dr. Seuss book. And it actually happened. That is the motivation from everything I've read on the story behind this huge blow up here. What did he just rip out of the wall? Was that like an iPad or something? Oh, was that the register? Dude, he broke the door! That's a, one of those, that's one of those expensive ass iPads. Like, and while they're doing this, do they not think, oh, I'm probably gonna get arrested. Like, whenever I watch these massive blow up videos in a restaurant, where they're just breaking shit. Are they like, yeah, no, this is probably going to end up with me just walking home. Like, no, they're probably going to call the cops on you. So we get to see him like lunging over the counter multiple times, grabbing like the payment processing unit. Yeah, and that like, one is expensive as fuck. Fucking ripping it off. And then when he's unsuccessful there and falls off the counter, he runs to the door and rips it off the hinges. This man came in here with stupid strength. So he takes the door, rips it off the hinges almost effortlessly. As if he was like ripping a piece of paper. I imagine it had to just be all of the adrenaline because he's not that big of a guy. So he probably tore like half of his muscles and his arms just pulling that off so easily. Or maybe this is just how he powers up like Popeye with his spinach. This <laughs> Bro, his analogies are fucking nuts. Like, Popeye with his spinach, bro. He ripped off the fucking door. I don't think I could do that. 
I started a second YouTube channel, Joe Bart Gaming. Joe Bart Gaming, link in description, pin comment, sub to it. First few videos is gonna be a Last of Us playthrough, long one, four part or two hour vids. Then we're gonna do some FFV games, horror videos, funny clips, whatever, you know, whatever I'm feeling. I do a lot of gaming on Twitch, so I said, why not make a YouTube channel for it since I already have a YouTube channel for the React days? <gasps> sub to the channel, back to the vid. Thank you. Okay, when he doesn't get his chicken wings, he goes into like fucking Superman mode. He becomes like some kind of invincible fucking Hulk. Oh god, is he gonna go steal the food? What is that, a whip? Oh, he's chasing him. Damn, he's fighting him. This got real. Oh, damn! Now the restaurant worker is fighting back. He brings out, like, some kind of police baton, uh, almost. I, I don't exactly know what it is, but he's got the stick out now, and he's ready to get a little crazy with it. So he chases him out there and starts, like, whacking him with it like he's swatting a fly. The goofball customer also tries to use that dory ripped off as some kind of weapon, so he tries to, like, almost swing it like a baseball bat there for a second before realizing it was way too heavy for that, and also the guy hits him with the stick. And then it, they go to the ground, so we get into the ground and pound phase of the boss fight. Uh, who's winning? Oh, that's that. That's the guy. Oh my style! He didn't know. Oh. What was that? He did not do that. What did he just throw? Oh my style! He didn't know. Oh, that's his phone! That's his phone! Oh my God! He broke his fucking phone, dude. He. Fucking football spiked the guy's phone on the ground. That is hilarious. That is fucking hilarious. That thing is broken. Damn, that thing shattered. He did not do that. The restaurant worker won on the ground game, I believe, and then even gets to claim his prize of the douchebag's phone, so he takes it and smashes it. Much to the dismay of the camera guy, he seemed, like, personally offended that this fucking asshole's phone got smashed. <laughs> oh! Well, I mean, I will say that's not good. Like, he could get in trouble for breaking the guy's phone. Everything else he did was fine. The axe makes it sound like he's stunned that such a dishonorable move was pulled during such an honorable fight. He's like, oh my goodness, now you've crossed the line. Everything up until this point was all good manners and by the book textbook knight's honor code and then you go and smash his phone a despicable display of sportsmanship like what the fuck the dude deserved to have his phone smashed bare minimum at the very least like that was absolutely par for the course and uh that's not where this stops there's no audio here so i'll just go ahead and a car in the what the fuck interrupting the video oh, interrupting the video to tell you about g fuel shaker cup tag below bottom left get it back to the bed Bro, this must be the the wackiest day ever. The car is in the fucking restaurant. It is the fucking guy crashing his company tow truck into the building and then scooting away. So he zooms on out of there, peels out. Now, of course, I'm no expert here, but using the... The company car. He's gonna get fucking sued by the restaurant. He's gonna get sued by the company. He's gonna get arrested for assault. He's going to get, oh my God, arrested for stealing, arrested for vandalism. Dude, this guy's going to serve 20 years. This guy's going to serve 20 fucking years. Not that he was making good decisions before then either, but that has to be one of the most identifiable things you could possibly be driving in order for people to track you down. The fucking company tow truck of all things. And he blasts it into the side of the building here and then uh, gets out. He gets the fuck out. What's crazy though is that he still hasn't been found, despite what? the company tow truck being identified, he, the actual person, has still, as of right now of me recording this, hasn't been arrested for it or anything. How is that possible? There's a lot of damage to the tow truck itself, and I don't think he owns the business, because if he did, I doubt he'd be using his fucking tow truck as a goddamn missile. Like, whoever owns that business should have probably noticed by now that, wow, this tow truck's pretty fucked up. Well, what happened to it? And then, you know, dots start getting connected. Like, holy shit, my employee is that absolute menace that was just on the news for crashing a tow truck into the side of a restaurant. Well, not even the side, into the front door of a restaurant. Like, I, I don't know how we're at this stage where this guy is still getting away with it two days later. The customer ripped the door off its hinges. Dude, I feel so bad for the owner. 
Like, you're just some dude trying to fucking run your business. You're nicely offering refunds and all this other shit. This guy rips the door off the hinges. I mean, at least he football spiked his phone. And then ran his car through the fucking... That's like thousands of dollars of fixing that. And they can't. he can't sue him for it yet. He just has to pay out of pocket. Grabbing Unless the there's door. insurance. We're trying to come inside the store with the door. They tussled outside the restaurant before the angry customer ran, but it wasn't over yet. He jumped in his tow truck, then he... This is the guy that went, oh, oh, when he football spiked his phone. Smashed the whole building with his truck. Oh, he really didn't even do much damage to the building. Wow. That really only hurt the car. His tow truck, then he slashed the whole building. With his oh, that really only hurt the car. That really didn't do that much to the building. We're living in a day and age where we can get multiple angles of pretty much anything that happens out in the world. So we get a, a deeper look at what happens outside of the store here, as well as seeing the entire situation with the tow truck going right into the building. We've got, you know, the Instagram a angle from just boots on the ground guy who's there in person filming it on his phone. And then we have the security camera footage in order to give us the other side here so we can catch every little detail. Which is fantastic, very Hopefully cinematic. Hopefully not found him. And uh, I think the coverage here is very important because it does point out exactly what I just said about the company tow truck. But it sheds more light on exactly how he's evading authorities right now. And it's very uh, surprising. It appears there was a passenger in the truck at the time. <laughs> Despite the heavy damage to the front end, the angry customer... Wow, the, that fucking car is ruined. The heavy damage... To the front end, the angry customer drove away. Now, the truck had a logo on it. A solid lead, right? The tow truck company, sometimes they lent their trucks to each other. So, he says police told him that doesn't identify the driver. I mean, yeah, it doesn't have the driver's name on the side of the truck or anything. Oh, you know what he could have done? You know, this is kind of a hindsight, oh fuck moment. Not football spike to the phone. If he had the phone, the police could could find out who it was off of the phone but the phone's broken oh it's not like he had a, a flag that he was flying that said here's who i am or anything but if you do a little what about the sim card maybe but it could have he could have ran it over he could have ran over his own phone too the, dude where they were fighting was where he was fucking driving around and shit he broke the shit out of the phone if the sim card's broken it's over like investigating i feel like it should be easy right there'd be a paper trail of lending a fucking tow truck to another tow truck company or another person right there would absolutely be some kind of documentation on where this tow truck went if it was lent out at least i would i would assume again i'm not a fucking expert but i can't imagine it's that difficult that is one of the most fucking identifiable things he could have been driving like it really can't be that hard to figure out where this tow truck came from who lent it, and who did it get lent to? It should be a pretty easy trail to follow, I would guess. But maybe not. Maybe maybe I'm thinking about it too naively. Uh, do you that, think he's just living his life, or do you think he's, like, on the run? That's very possible as well. But this is just such a fucking wild situation all over chicken wings. Well, and it's not like he didn't get served food either. Like, it, it's not even that he's hangry, right? It's not even like a... It's not you when you're hungry type situation. The dude ate a full meal. Chicken tenders, waffles, fish, and coleslaw. But then wanted wings instead. So he already had a full tummy. His belly was stuffed, but he just wanted some more. And they were like, hey man, it's about to close. How about no? And that's what set all this shit off. Oh, fucking wildness. This was 23 hours ago, so they might have found it because he might have recorded this a few days. Too. And what's even- I'm trying to see if they, like, a comment mentions it. But I want to look it up. 500 hours community service? No, you would get way more. You would get sued. You would, you would at least get sued. That's not 500 hours of community service. That's assault. That's assault, vandalism, stealing, vandalism of the car as well. Like, that's a lot of crimes. All right, that's a W stream though, chat. Uh, we're gonna call it there because I gotta go to a. Um...